Hi, I'm Nelson Davis, technical instructor. Today we're taking a look at the master cylinder, which is an important part of your vehicle's braking system. Here's where they're typically located, on the driver's side of the vehicle towards the rear of the engine compartment. And here's a couple of examples of master cylinders. Some, like this one, have the reservoir attached, while others will have the reservoir remotely mounted. The master cylinder is connected to the brake lines, which then supply brake fluid to the wheels. In very basic terms, the master cylinder is a pump with a reservoir attached which holds the brake fluid. Inside the master cylinder, there are pistons, seals, and return springs. There's also a push rod that connects the brake pedal to the brake booster in the master cylinder. The brake booster helps provide power-assisted braking. When you step on the brakes, the push rod pushes forward, moving the pistons and compressing the return springs inside the master cylinder. The resulting pressure from the pistons creates the hydraulic force needed to allow the brakes to function properly. The push rod connecting to the master cylinder forces brake fluid under pressure from the master cylinder through the brake lines leading to the brake calipers. The pressure from the brake fluid pushes another piston, which is inside the brake caliper, which in turn pushes the brake pads against the rotors to slow or stop your vehicle. If you have questions about master cylinders and how they work, give us a call where ASC certified technicians can assist you with your vehicle's repair needs and the products we sell seven days a week. We hope this video has been informative and thanks again for watching.